Whilst it is unfortunately true that China has been building coal power plants over the last 12 months, it has also been installing more wind and solar than much of the world combined. It now has enough wind and solar to power every single home in China. That includes even some of the ghost cities. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking, great to see you. For those who are new to the channel, my name's Sam Evans. And yes, the accent, it's Australian, I'm an Aussie. Looking forward to going home back to Australia. Right now I'm in Thailand. However, there are some really cool things about Australia. One of them is solar. There's more solar per capita, per person, than any other country in the world. Australia has a big advantage over China though. It has a lot more sun on average. Now, Southern China gets a lot of sun. Northern China, not so much. However, in spite of that, the Chinese have installed massive amounts of solar. China National Energy Administration reported that the country installed a combined 125 gigawatts of new wind and solar in 2022, bringing its total cumulative renewable energy capacity to over 1,200 gigawatts. That's enough for about 800 million houses. Out of the new renewable energy capacity added was 37.6 gigawatts of new wind energy capacity and an incredible 87.4 gigawatts of newly installed solar power. According to Wang Peng, an official with the National Energy Administration, speaking during a news briefing held in Beijing on Monday, he said that solar and wind was being ramped up at historic pace. While the impact of the new generation capacity installed during 2022 will only really be felt when looking at 2023's numbers, the NEA also reported that renewable energy accounted for 47.5% of China's total power generation capacity at the end of 2022. That's up 2.5% compared to 2021. So, well, yes, it does suck that unfortunately China is still building coal power plants, which will more than likely go out of commission within 10 years anyway. The point here is that half of all energy in China right now is renewable. That's pretty impressive. If you consider that the three biggest solar panel manufacturing companies in the world are all located in China and they've all reduced their prices, by between 20 to 30% this year already, well, I can see a lot of solar being built this year. While the impact of this new solar and wind doesn't really make up for the reality of all the fossil fuel burning in China, they're certainly headed in the right direction. Do you agree with that? Let me know what your thoughts are. Interestingly, as highlighted by Bloomberg News, China's wind and solar is now generating almost enough electricity to power every single home in China. With renewable generation surpassing 1,190 terawatt hours in 2022 and residential power consumption hitting 1,350 terawatt hours, the near match is a big milestone for China. This year, China will almost certainly build out enough solar and wind generation capacity to cover all residential power use. At some point, they'll hit that mark this year. Now, this does not include industrial power consumption, of course, and only 17% of electricity use was classified as residential in 2020, according to the International Energy Agency. Reneweconomy.com.au says that this will have increased during the two years of the chaotic COVID-19 pandemic. China's industry nevertheless remains king. Unfortunately, industry is using probably 75% of all power in China. I mean, this is the engine house of the world. It truly is. They're manufacturing, you know, such an insane percentage of the world's products. It's probably not very reasonable for us to expect that they would hit 100% renewables anytime soon. Will it happen? Eventually, absolutely, because right now solar is just cheaper than coal, but it takes time to build out this generation. Also, you need battery storage. You need a whole system implemented like what they've done in South Australia. However, whilst the numbers you know, of industrial pollution in China are right now terrible, actually they're horrendous, the positive to take away from this is solar and wind prices keep coming down. 
And it's thanks to that industrial, this third industrial revolution that we've seen in China, that the prices of those products are coming down, the prices of batteries are coming down. That will have a positive flow and effect. Eventually, renewable energy will simply smash the cost of coal and gas, will be a footnote in history. Let me know your thoughts on that. Thank you for watching.